So Etienne were looking for consistency in their bid for a top three finish. While well, having recorded five wins from six at home, Le Vert were yet to win on the road in 2014. Well, before the defeat to Monaco last week, Bastia had only lost once in Corsica in 14 matches. Frederic Hans hoped to try and rescover that form, but Saint Etienne were on top and took the lead after the half hour mark. Brando's header secured a point last time out and was able to tap in at the back post after Juan Molo's corner. Brazilians fourth of the season. Well, no further goals in the first half. 1-0 to Saint Etienne through Brandau's tap in. Saint Etienne had won five against Bastia in a row before a 2-2 draw at the Geoffrey Guichard in September. Benoit Tremolinas providing an overlap down the left when the ball finally found its way. Johan Molo showed great tenacity. Unable to find the net. But Bastia, six of the sevens, finally managing to get it clear. Well, a free kick from Wabi Kazri gave Bastia an opportunity for a leveller. But Stefan Ruffier's punch eventually finding safety. Another strike, but a simple save for Ruffier. And Saint Etienne went on the hunt for a second. Joshua Gulavogu back on loan from Atletico Madrid. His strike down the throat of Jean Louis Leca. Labassi is still in it at 1 0, and Gibraltar Cisse's deep cross found Ilan at the back post. And his header eventually going for a corner, but the Corsicans shot themselves in the foot. In the last minute, Feti Harik's horrific back pass. Under absolutely no pressure. But his first time pass. Thierry, a terrific finish. But sadly, in the wrong net with Leka. Left unable to do anything to stop San Etienne going. Two ahead, and that was enough for the win. Saint Etienne provisionally third. Bastia first back-to-back -back home defeats for just under a year and a half.